My name is Brendan Sauer. I'm with Discover Battery. I'm the AES product manager. And today we've got ourselves a 4248 6650. It's a 48 volt Zanbus enabled battery, lithium battery, 6.6 uh, .6 kilowatt hour. This battery may be arriving to a residential location or a commercial site. So these will be shipped by ground. They're too large to be shipped by air. If you are receiving these at a residential address, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the trucker knows to have a pallet jack uh, or a lift gate, or if that's not possible, you wanna make sure that you've got enough hands to pick this battery up. So when you first get the box, uh, the best way to open it is with a hammer or a mallet and a chisel. And it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna walk around the box Lift up these tabs, there's two on each side for a total of eight. And then when all those tabs are vertical, it's pretty easy just to slide the lid right up and off. The first thing you're gonna notice when you open the box is the user manual. You can go to discoveraes.com uh, just to make sure you've got the most recent version. Or if you want some more supplemental information, there's also some more downloads there as well. If you're specifically looking at doing a Zanbus enabled installation, there's also a Schneider app note online that goes into much more detail about networking, system sizing, uh, making sure that you install properly so the system behaves as expected. Remove the top foam insert, and you'll have your battery. With the 42 and 44 series batteries, you'll notice a box with two Y adapters. Uh, these allow you to build out the AE bus network, which is how the batteries communicate, and also how to terminate and connect to the ZAN bus network. In all the batteries, you'll also get two M8 bolts. These are for your terminals. Um, if you're going to be doing parallel connections, you may need to go to the hardware store and get yourself some longer ones. And when you are buying your own bolts, you're going to want to make sure that your thread depth uh, isn't longer than the button. The data sheets, once again at discoveraes.com, will show you how deep those terminals are and just make sure that your bolts aren't driving through the bottom. Torque values can be found on the data sheet as well and with newer versions of the batteries, the torque values are on the terminals themselves. Also, you notice that the serial number is on top. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take a picture of that just makes uh, warranty registration a little bit easier when you get down to it. When you go to register your warranty, you're gonna to go to discoveraes.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see a warranty registration tab. Once you open up your warranty registration tab, there's gonna be a few fields to enter, uh, fill out your information, and hit send. So now that we have the foam off and all the accessories out of the way, you can either go ahead and deconstruct the box, so just two tabs on each edge, and the pieces will fall away. Or you can grab two people, there's two handles on each side, and you can lift it out of the box. Do not try to do that yourself. The battery is about 200 pounds, so make sure you have someone to help. When you receive your battery, the state of charge is gonna be approximately 50% as per shipping regulations, so they cannot be shipped any higher. But when you first commission your system and you get everything wired up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a charging source. We advise that the first thing you do is charge your battery or your batteries up to 100% state of charge, and then you can go ahead and discharge them. The battery is shipped with terminal covers. You're gonna to wanna to go and remove those when you go to wire up the terminals. When you get your battery, uh, even though it will be off, you should always assume that the terminals are live. So you can tell if the battery's on or off by whether or not the key LED is illuminated. So, of course, blue light on, no light off, but always assume your terminal's are live. On this Zanbus variant of the battery, there's three connectors on the front. The first one is a USB connector, which allows you to connect the battery to your computer. And with our AES dashboard software, you can update firmware, download data, see live operating conditions. COM1 is AES bus. That's a CAN-based network that the batteries use to communicate to each other. COM2 on the Zanbus enabled batteries is Zanbus. So you're gonna take one battery from your network and connect it to the Schneider system. Any other information you're gonna need, whether it's user manuals, warranty registration, uh, how to care for your battery, some of the fancier features, where to get the computer software to interface with your battery, that can all be found on discoveraes.com.